Greetings everyone. A number of you have asked me why the fold technique that we learned creates an equilateral triangle. I'm going to quickly refresh your memory how the fold works. You start with your rectangular piece of paper and I'm going to assume you uh, remember how we fold it along the long side to create this midline. And then this uh, interesting crease we create starting from the left lower corner here uh, in such a manner that the upper left corner is folded to touch that midline. Uh, we want to learn why that creates an equilateral triangle and uh, that basically will amount to creating here a 60 degree angle. If you could convince you, if I could convince you that that makes a 60 degree angle, uh, hopefully this will convince you that it has to uh, uh, create an equilateral triangle. So to do that, uh, we're going to quickly remind us ourselves some basics, uh, basic geometry. There's a theorem uh, that is uh, basically the following. An altitude of an equilateral triangle is also a median. An altitude of an equilateral triangle is also a median. What that means is if you start with an equilateral triangle, like the one I have right here, and if you drop a perpendicular segment, also known as an altitude, from A vertex to the opposite side, it will bisect this opposite side. Uh, the best way to see that this is true is to note that all the uh, sides of an equilateral triangle are congruent, so these two uh, side lengths here are congruent. An altitude here will create two right triangles, one on the left, one on the right. And because these right triangles are sharing the altitude here also, you could use the HL theorem uh, to show that the left and right, uh, smaller right triangles are congruent to each other by HL theorem. By HL theorem, we mean the hippo leg theorem meaning if two triangles, two right triangles, have their hippos congruent and a leg congruent, then the triangles must be congruent to each other. Uh, the moment you have uh, proven that, you could show that the left segment here and the right segment here are congruent by uh, what is called CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, uh, equilateral triangle, you have this property, and observe, uh, because this third side is bisected, uh, what you have here is a 1 to 2 ratio. So, if I could convince you that uh, you end up with a situation where you have 1 to 2 ratio in a right triangle, you have, in effect, created a... 30, 60, and 90 uh, triangle. So the key here uh, is to realize that the folding we're going to uh, recap in a second creates a 1 to 2 relationship between the side length and the length of the hippo. The moment you do that, uh, you guarantee yourself a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So, let's go back to the uh, uh, shape that we had, the folding we had. Uh, this uh, construct is going to uh, require you to think sideways. Uh, so, imagine you have an equilateral triangle and you're dropping the altitude to the side here from the lower left corner. Okay? So, this is what, how our fold looks like. Imagine that I bring this corner here to touch the mid segment. The moment I do that, I have the green and the purple uh, triangles congruent because it is the same triangle that I'm folding on top um, of itself. Uh, so imagine I did that. Observe that this segment here, which has one that, has to be half of this segment here, which has one and one, two dashes here. Uh, the reason is you're in effect creating the altitude uh, situation here in an equilateral triangle. And the moment you do that, you are back to the picture that we have studied before, where this is of length 
uh, unit length this is double that which is equivalent to this length here the moment in a right triangle you have a one and two situation uh, the third side has to be of length root three and that creates a 30 60 uh, 90 triangle situation uh, the reason uh, that this will create a 60 degree here is uh, the right angle here is going to uh, you're going to have left over uh, 60 degree on that uh, side. Alrighty, so I hope this wasn't too confusing and it gives you a hint why uh, the fall we learned creates an equilateral triangle. Take care.